It's been two weeks since I sat and recorded anything and um, hi. Hey so you guys, welcome back. Hi, I'm Lydia, I'm 22 and I talk about mental health on the internet because, well, I know how isolating it is. So today's video is a life update, what's going on, what's coming. In my last video I talked about Lamotra gene and how I'd gone from 25 to 50 and the whole rush scare that I had. I'm still on 50, I'm upping my dose next week to 100, which anxiety. You know, um, the thing is I'm coming down on my quit here while I'm increasing the lamotrigine so during the day I am more alert but at night I'm finding it really hard to sleep and stay asleep. I've been really jumpy as well and my anxiety has been ridiculous. Um, yeah it hasn't been fun. The reason I haven't filmed is quite simply my confidence just got fucking knocked out of whack and every time I tried to film I was too shaky, I was too anxious did not say and it just didn't ever um there has been a few stresses and things that i want to talk about in the future but not right now um this week i have finally received my final payslip which oh. covered a food and the short story of that is it literally took for me to get a solicitor and basically say if they didn't pay me I was going to sue them and it literally took for me to CC in the solicitor I'd been talking to to a message to the person who ultimately was in control of my contract. Um, to anyone who doesn't know I used to work for NHS Test and Trace, I don't anymore and there's a huge, there's a huge part of that that I will talk about when I have worked out how I can talk about it without breaching data protection. Yeah, um, I finally got my neuro appointment through. Um, I've been waiting for that for about a month. Um, I've been waiting to get this letter to start the neurology things, which if you don't know, you can literally see I've got a lump on my head there and it's been getting bigger the last few years. And this year, it, my GP actually brought it up as a thing as in like, I've been on migraine medication for three years and it hasn't significantly and I did vlog a whole thing where I was trying different migraine medications and ultimately, as I still am, I take Almatriptan, which is a migraine medication. Um, it's, you know, you can't take it every day. I do struggle with migraines. I have done pretty severely for the last few years. And I said this year, it's from my GP who then said it might be something more. And as a lot of you know, I underwent cardiology investigations and the result of that wasn't great. It, it isn't life changing, but it definitely shocked me. Um, the neurology thing is terrifying <laughs> because I've been told what they think it might be. And I literally cried. <laughs> Even though it's not likely to be deadly or whatever, it is terrifying having a literal growth on your forehead that you can physically see and feel that is not actually part of your skull. Um, that's not great. You know, I am trying a lot at the minute. I am constantly trying to work on myself and keep up with my mental health. And yeah, starting this Lamotra gene is just... And the reason it's been hard is because I am already very paranoid anyway. I do receive treatment for that and take medication for that, which is fine, you know? To anyone who doesn't know, I take Lanazepam. I'm prescribed Lanazepam to take three times a day, two 0 0.5 tablets and then one milligram at night. This is maybe one of the things that I do want to in this. Um, like I said, my medication is pretty much the same, um, other than lowering a few things in and Lamotrigine, nothing, nothing significant has actually changed. With regards to YouTube, I have been wanting to post, but because of... I hate looking about this. 
I feel like people are getting sick of me talking about this. Because of the trolling that goes on across all my social media, I find posting sometimes extremely anxiety provoking. And today especially, like literally about an hour ago, I was scrolling through Twitter and it got brought to my attention that someone had posted another photo. Like between me and Becca, both our photos have been getting reuploaded and shared from someone who I have openly said is a complete troll. I stand by that. I posted on Twitter, this is what I posted. Um, it's not okay to post someone else's pictures without permission. Privacy laws exist for a reason and unless you have someone's express permission, you cannot upload, reuse or do anything with a photo that does not belong to you. Whether it's copyrighted or not, under privacy laws, it's not okay. And just morally, it's just so fucked and it's really sad actually, that someone spends their time like posting photos that I post while bragging about being on government benefit. Why not use the energy that you are putting into trolling into getting a job? You, you know, the logical thing. And I don't want to cover that because it's not even like it's just me. The fact is, when you when you start breaching privacy, it affects people. And today it was a picture that wasn't posted by me that was posted by Becca. And it's just fucked. <laughs> like, don't do it. There's no justification for doing that. It affects people and it hurts. Whether it is malicious, whether it's not, it doesn't matter. You're using that image without permission. The intended purpose, for not the intended use of that photo. If you didn't take it and you don't have permission, you do not have the right. And I will say this, any pictures that are mine that have been posted have been reported. Any pictures of Becca's that have been posted have been reported. And the only reason I'm talking about this is because it's not just me that it's affecting anymore. The fact is, if you don't like me, that's fine. I can, I can live with that. You know, not everyone likes everyone and I have opinions that other people disagree with and that's fine. That's what makes us human. But it is not okay to use that as an excuse to friggin' bully people, harass people, or anything. I am a 22 year old who shares her experience with mental illness and physical health and life generally. I do this for the simple reason of I know mental illness is isolating and if I can make one pe one person, if I can make one person feel less alone, I have succeeded in doing what I want to do. That is the whole reason behind me starting my social media. That was everything behind everything I've ever shared. I've never posted videos, tweets or anything with malicious intent. I'm not that kind of person. There have been so many allegations thrown at me and I can disprove them all but at the end of the day I shouldn't have to. I, just like anyone else, have a right to privacy. Whether I post my life online or not, that doesn't really... I still have a right to privacy. Um, and I would appreciate that being respected, which currently, by these people, it's not. And yes, I am sharing their usernames. They are malicious people and they are people who are unkind, who take advantage of people and you know what, it's just not fucking okay. And I'm sick of defending myself on Twitter, I'm sick of making videos where I have to talk about things that I don't really want to talk about. I'm sick of people thinking that I post things maliciously when I don't. The reason my videos have always got different subjects and why my medication changes is because I'm a real fucking person. That doesn't make me less than or an attention seeker. That makes me a 22 year old sharing her experience, which countless other people document their recovery. You know, I'm someone who's been bullied my entire life. I can take insults. I don't really care. Um, but when you start hurting people around me, I will defend them. And I don't care what I have to do to achieve that. You send a tweet, when you send a message, you cannot take that back. That has been said and that will hurt someone. Which is why I always say, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it. We don't want to hear the negativity. We don't want to get harassed. We don't want to be trolled. We don't want to be told we're attention seeking just because we're open. Like, I talk openly about my diagnosis change, which fucking shook my entire world. I've shared what being in a hospital like is at the worst moment, and I haven't done that for me. It is not easy to sit there and edit a video where you are watching yourself cry, where you are listening to yourself 
feeling so shit. When I look back on videos, I'm like, oh my god. I've changed a lot since a lot of my videos were posted and there's one reason. Sorry, I've got a notification from food. Um, you probably now want to deliver it soon. That's quite far away actually. It's not okay to publicly berate anyone. Like I said, I have a right, just as much as anyone, to defend myself. And yes, I also have a right to block people. And people say this a lot, like, Lydia just blocks anyone who disagrees with her and that. Whatever, you know? I block people who upset me. I block people who do offend me. And I block people who harass me. I don't have to put up with it and I'm not going to. No matter who someone is, I don't care. I will always, always protect myself and those around me. And there have been so many times in the last year where I've been like, do I even want to bother with social media? And last year I came very close to just, and I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad that I stuck it out and I'm glad that I've carried on sharing my story, sharing my experiences because mental illness is isolating. And especially given the current world situation, it is isolating and I know that, you know. And you know what, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm perfect. I have made a mistake. But can you honestly sit there and say you haven't? People seem to think that just because I have an audience, just because I have a certain amount of followers, it means I have to follow some sort of rule book and that is not how it is at all. I'm very open about the fact that I struggle and I'm very open about the fact that I don't have a ton of money sitting in my bank account and in times of need I will ask for help and that's the thing I'm not going to apologise for asking for help when I have needed financial support I've asked and you can ask people who donate money I refund acknowledging it I'm not that kind of person so yeah this has been my little update and videos are returning I am going to try and upload as often as I can but mental illness medication changes it's not easy but I'm trying and that's what matters. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys soon with another one. If you are new, subscribe and if you're interested, my Patreon is linked down below. Or if you want to support me some other way, all the information is in the description down below. Even a like or a comment literally makes my day. So thank you to those who have supported me. Bye guys. <laughs>